Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. This is Katie. If you're new here, hello, welcome. And if you're back, welcome back. Today I am hopping on to share a post review with you all of a f my most recent finish. This beautiful piece is called Down the Rabbit Hole, version B. It's from the company DIY Moon Shop or Die Moon Shop and it's legally licensed from the artist Cheruki. And oh my goodness, I am so, so thrilled with how this turned out. I was a little bit uncertain when I first started working on it. I started over here in this corner and I thought, I'm not entirely sure what's happening over here with the shading, with the different grays and whites and whatnot, but thought, just trust the process. You're not even into the subject yet. And as soon as I started to get into here, like with her hair and the lines of her dress and her skin tone, I was just blown away. I think that DIY Moonshop absolutely knocked it out of the park with the rendering on this piece. This is something that if you've been on my channel for a little while, you know, is probably my top priority when it comes to the kits that I work on, the rendering because most of the other elements of a kit you can do something about. If you have bad drills, you can ask for replacements. If the adhesive is not sticky in spots, you can put down some clear nail polish or some other kind of sticky and take care of that. In the end though, there's not a whole lot you can do to change the rendering that the company has given you short of recharting it yourself, which that's not relaxing for me. <laughs> One of the reasons I do this craft is to relax and let my brain not have to work. So recharting doesn't really fit the bill for me. So that being said, the rendering is something that is super important to me. I am so thrilled with how the bunny turned out. Can we talk about how adorable he is with his little, like a little bow tie? <laughs> And her face, oh my gosh, I just, I love it. I feel like when I look at this, I see a little bit of this artist's, um, her tendency, she does a lot of pieces that artwork that's based on Sailor Moon. And I see some of that in how she has done the artwork for Alice in this and not in a bad way. I really like the little details in here, like the sense, the really clear sense that it gives you of she's falling down the rabbit hole. Like there's things falling around her. I love just the detailing again with like the way her hand feels, the folds of her dress. There's details that I didn't even realize were in here until I stepped back. Like the trim on her dress. Again, I am really, really blown away. I think that given the size of this piece, which is, I believe, 50 by 66 centimeters, not huge, not small, but I've seen much, much blurrier renderings of pieces from companies, and gosh, I'm in love with how this turned out. I thought that they did a really fantastic job with the colors that they chose. I thought that it fit the overall muted tone, but we still see that really classic traditional blue that's in Alice's dress in about every iteration. I loved that, again, even though there's tones of like peaches and pinks in her hair, it still reads as very golden. And again, very, very traditional Alice. I love the elements that they worked in with the different suits of cards, which even though they couldn't communicate super sharp details of, it reads so beautifully. I think they did a fabulous job. I love that we have the little touch of the potion here at the top and the clock, of course, but everything just has the same theme and vibe. If you weren't aware, this is actually one of two versions of this piece that DIY Moonshop offers. There's a larger version where it has more of the original artwork. I'll try to insert a picture here and it just, it's taller. You see more of what's going on in the original artwork. 
For this though, I really just liked the feel of this and how it was focused on this adorable sort of interaction between her and the white rabbit. Look at his movie tail. I love it, I love it. So this was my first finish, by the way, of 2021. I started on January 1st, so it's my first start and finish of 2021. And I worked on this for the Alice in a Winter Wonderland event with Life with Lindsay. If you're watching this close to when I am sharing it, there is still time to enter. It runs through February 14th, Valentine's Day and the Queen of Hearts birthday. It's not too late to join. You just have to work on an Alice in Wonderland themed kit. I will link Lindsay's channel and the video with all the information below in the description. Go take a look. It's been so neat to see everyone's work and progress over on Instagram. It's It's been really, really neat. So um, some other things that I was really happy with about this kit, the glue was much, much, much better than the last kit that I worked on. If you happen to watch my post review of The Stars Who Listen, which was posted a couple of months ago, one of the things that I mentioned there was that I found the glue to be very slippery and in some places it didn't feel sticky at all. I was actually having to put down some clear nail polish in a couple of spots uh, to, so the drills would even stick on that canvas. The working theory that I and a couple other diamond painters have is that companies were having to rush production with a really high demand in the summer, which that I had ordered that kit in I think July or August. And so they were laying the plastic covers on the glue before the glue had had the chance to cure. And ultimately that meant that the glue wasn't sticky in some places or was slippery. Very, very happy to report that it seems like this issue has been resolved, at least in this case. I had no trouble with the glue whatsoever except for the one time that I laid my arm in it for a few minutes without realizing I had done it. And that's on, that's on me. <laughs> so I had to fix that up a bit. I also really appreciated that um, the ship time, the turnaround time for this was quicker this time around. I understand that with the holidays and just with the pandemic, a lot of that is out of the hands of companies like DIY Moonshop, but I was, it was just still a pleasant surprise that instead of this taking the two and a half months that my first order took, this one was more like four or five weeks. So I can't complain about that at all. So one issue that I did run into the, with this kit, which I have already contacted um, Reggie and Rowana, over at DIY Moonshop about, is there were two or three colors that the drill quality was kind of poor. Um, let's see if I can show you guys. So what I was running into was that, again, with two or three of the colors in particular, there were a ton of drills that had extra resin pooled at the bottom. Let me see, that's not really the best example. Sorry guys. Um, I mean, you can kind of see, I think they're not lining up here because there's that extra resin, but you can see if you look here, that's much wider than a drill normally is. Here you can see up here a bit. Some drills were worse than others, but here was the problem. When I got lazy about multi-placing because I didn't really realize how bad the problem was, um, I got to a point where I had worked on like the top third of the canvas and wasn't really paying close attention to problematic drills. I'm gonna grab another color and see if I can show you a little bit better. Um, so I was a little bit lazy about it uh, initially. And then when I was kind of going back over it, I realized like, oh my gosh, some of these drills are popping, what is going on? So I took a closer look and then realized, oh, there are, again, two or three of these drill colors. Oh, you know what I see right now? Up here, there's a drill that isn't there anymore. It <laughs> must have popped off. Okay, take two. As I mentioned, I did message them about it. They thanked me and I told them, I was like, I, I did run out of usable drills on a couple of colors. 
you can see okay here up here you can really see maybe there we go you see that extra shine around these drills it really looks like it it's pretty inoffensive but the problem is when I put too many of those down on the canvas that extra resin just pushes against the other drills with extra resin and the drills around it and they pop it's like why the problem with square drills if they have tabs on them they'll pop usually rounds are more forgiving but again just that bit of extra resin at the base was it just made this project go a bit slower because i had to pick and place and i couldn't multi-place so i got to a point where i just ended up pulling some spare drills from my stash just so that i wasn't having to pick through 95 percent trash drills to find good ones again I let DIY Moonshop know. They said they would speak with their manufacturer. They said, thank you for letting us know about this. And um, hopefully this is a one-off. I didn't have any issues with the drills on my first project. So I am not, I'm not panicking. <laughs> I'm noticing that a lot of companies seem to be running into a little bit of issues with the quality on their drills lately. And I just think it might be a thing right now. I'm really hoping that we get on the other side of it soon though. Um, the other thing that I, I wanted to mention just with the DIY Moonshop kit, sort of one of the things that always gives me a little bit of pause is the price point. These kits are just, they're expensive. It's kind of like a luxury style diamond painting where we're getting access to these really, really fantastic fine art artists and DIY Moonshop is legally licensing and compensating those artists well. It's a family run business. They make a bit of a, an experience out of ordering from them with how they package everything and share about it. it it's always just going to be a matter of what are your priorities? What makes something worth a cost for you? For me, being able to work on artwork from artists that I adore, like Cheriyuki or Margaret Morales, um, Jeremiah Morelli, all these artists that DIY Moonshop works with, being able to work on legally licensed artwork from them is a huge plus for me. Also, I don't think anyone does rendering like DIY Moonshop does. It's a very distinct style of rendering and it may or may not be your cup of tea. The colors and just the overall feel of how they do their pieces might not really be your thing. Different companies have different vibes, I suppose. And it's just a matter of what speaks to you. What is the most important thing to you about working on diamond painting kits or what, you know, what's offered to you in a diamond painting kit? And for you, that this might not be for you, and that is okay. I do wish that the price point were lower. It's a bummer, especially with the cost of shipping. Um, but for me, it is a splurge and a treat that I am happy to indulge in from time to time. And I, this is the second kit that I've completed from them, and I have no regrets. I'm even happier with this kit with my, than I was with my last one, if that's possible. So um, please let me know if you have any questions about this kit specifically or about DIY Mood Shop or anything like that. I am definitely going to recommend them if what they have to offer is your cup of tea. And um, yeah, so I'm really, really happy with my first finish of the year. And I hope that this video was enjoyable. Uh, thank you so much for watching. As always, if this was helpful for you, please hit the thumbs up before you click away and leave any questions, comments, concerns down in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you're not already subscribed, I would love if you wanted to subscribe and join me here. I try to catch up with you guys every so often and do things like post reviews, unboxings, how-to videos, that sort of thing. And I have a lot of fun things in store for the year. So I hope that you'll join me here. Anyway, I hope you all have a really wonderful week and I will talk to you again soon. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.